Welcome to my channel, this is CCNA Essentials. This channel aims to provide a comprehensive course on the most essential knowledge required for the CCNA certification. Today, we will study port security in this lesson. The objective is to prevent unauthorized devices from being plugged into the company's access switch based on their MAC addresses. Here is a network diagram. There is a PC currently connected to an access port on this switch. Let's assume that the company's policy is to prohibit personal devices from being plugged into the company's network configuration. Suppose an employee unplugs the cable from the company's PC that was connected to the switch and then plugs in their laptop into this access port to access the company's sensitive data. This switch has a feature that compares the MAC address of the previously connected PC with the MAC address of this laptop. If they are different, the switch will automatically shut down this port, and the laptop will not be able to access the company's network. Let's explore four different scenarios to understand the concept of port security better. Case 1. Prohibiting users from plugging personal laptops into the company switch. Let's assume that port E0-0 is currently connected to a company PC. With this command, default is to allow only one MAC address to appear on the switch port. This command specifies the number of devices allowed on this port. After configuring the switch in this way, when an unknown device is plugged in, the port will be disabled, air disabled. To re-enable the port, the admin needs to shut down and then no shut down the port. Afterward, the port will accept the MAC address of the newly connected unknown device. This is a drawback because it allows unauthorized devices to be connected temporarily. Solution, use the switch port port security MAC address sticky command. After the admin shuts down and then no shuts down the port, the switch will only record the MAC address of the initially connected device, which is the PC's MAC address. Let's move on to case 2, when devices are placed in fixed locations, and we want to restrict a port to only accept a specific MAC address. Here are commands. The switch will only accept this MAC address on the port, known as a static MAC. Result, when an unknown device is connected, the port will be disabled. Regarding case 3, in the event that a user accidentally triggers an air disabled state and you want them to connect the correct company device before it's allowed. Here are commands. Configure the recovery behavior for the port security violation error condition. The switch will automatically recover from a port security violation, secure violation, after 30 seconds. This configuration allows the port to automatically recover from the air disabled state after 30 seconds if a port security violation occurs. The user will have the opportunity to correct the issue by connecting the correct company device during this time. When it comes to case 4, avoiding port going into air disabled state. To prevent a port from going into the air disabled state when a port security violation occurs, you have three options. Protect mode, restrict mode, and shutdown mode. Protect mode. Command, switch port port security violation protect. In protect mode, the switch will drop packets from an unauthorized PC but without generating any warning or logging the violation. The port remains operational. Restrict mode. Command, switch port port security violation restrict. In restrict mode, the switch will drop packets from an unauthorized PC and generate a log warning about the violation. The port stays active, and the violation is logged. Shutdown mode, default. Command, switch port port security violation shutdown. In shutdown mode, the default, when a violation occurs, the port is immediately shut down and placed in the air disabled state. Choose the mode that best suits your security and operational needs. Protect and restrict modes allow the port to stay operational while providing different levels of visibility into security violations, whereas shutdown mode enforces strict security by disabling the port entirely upon a violation.